No, you can shake your head all you want. We're the ones holding the goddamn bag in Texas. It's true. Talk to the dead people in Texas. Yeah, good, walk out. You don't like the rants? We don't like what's happening to Texas because of you and the president down the other end of Pennsylvania Avenue. You've got communities across the country, particularly Texas, dealing with a crisis almost entirely of this president's making. That's just what we're dealing with. And we're the ones dealing with it every single day, right? I mean, we, we get a new piece of news every single day of some other event of something that's occurred um, in, the, uh, in, in Texas. Um, we had on Friday, Texas troopers stopped an illegal alien from Mexico possessing a handgun and cocaine while smuggling a dozen other illegals in Uvalde County bound for San Antonio. I could list off hundreds of examples I get on a regular basis. My phone is lighting up every week from sheriffs and people in Texas dealing with this all the time. Schools that have to put the big blocks up to deal with bailouts and trucks and people going across the properties, ranches, fences cut, livestock out, all the stuff. It's not fake, it's real. It's literally happening every day. My phone, pictures, I get pictures every day from Texans dealing with it. I mean, at some point, Texas is gonna say, screw it, enough. We're gonna do whatever the hell we wanna do. And I'll be an advocate for that. Because the people in this Congress are ignoring the people of Texas. And by the way, the migrants getting abused. That's the truth. We're talking about people who are admitted into this country. We're talking about the legal definition of admission. Not the one app where you're processing people through a port of entry and just dumping them in the United States without having any idea when they return for a hearing on whether their asylum claim was legitimate in the first place, which it usually is not. That's the truth. No, you can shake your head all you want. We're the ones holding the goddamn bag in Texas. It's true. Talk to the dead people in Texas. Yeah, good, walk out. You don't like the rants? We don't like what's happening to Texas because of you and the president down the other end of Pennsylvania Avenue. That's the truth. Mr. Chair, the gentlelady from Minnesota made an made a issue about not getting personal. Uh, I would urge the chair to- All right, I will track to, to the, you, the gentleman. to my colleagues yeah. on the other and side we, of the and, aisle. And by the way, there's a small committee room. We don't have to scream. Look, the fact of the matter is I have people dying in my state as a direct consequence of what this federal government fails to do. Kids in my district dying from fentanyl pouring into the community. Schools overrun, hospitals overrun. People trying to figure out how to deal with what is happening because the federal government refuses to do its basic duty. You wanna talk about the migrants? You wanna talk about the stash house in Fort Worth that I mentioned last week where a federal judge is talking about the extent to which the man sitting in Baltimore was paying $1,000 to have his wife and daughter sent up, but he was being held hostage to $23,000 while his wife and daughter and the guy in the stash house is saying, I'm going to rape your daughter. And that's what the guy's being told right up here in Baltimore. And that's in a federal filing by a federal judge talking about these are the facts. This is what we're talking about every single day. You have federal judges now moving stuff up and saying we have to upward depart from the actual sentencing guidelines. Like, sit down and talk to the people and the sheriffs in South Texas who are having to deal with this every day, and it's absolute chaos. And the people of Texas are fed up. You talk about, well, what does the governor of Texas do? Or any other governor, governor of Florida? Dealing with what they're having to deal with, with the federal government failing to do its job? Of course they've got to deal with things like, what's happening in schools and whether the schools are gonna be used to house people because we have a entirely broken system. But it's completely insane, completely insane to ignore what's actually happening to the people of this country and the migrants in question. That's what absolutely and utterly blows my mind. I know the chairwoman agrees about what's happening and seeing what's happening to migrants across the country. 856 dead migrants last year, the thousands of Americans dying from fentanyl, all of the things we've talked about. They're real. These are real human beings. It's not fake what the federal judge put in an order just two weeks ago. It's not fake. It's real. 
And it's a product of a completely broken system in which we refuse to actually secure the border of the United States, which is our fundamental job, and have the Secretary of Homeland Security come before the committee and say, yes, we have operational control of the border, which he did. He looked me in the eye in the House Judiciary Committee and said, yes, we have operational control of the border. And then testifying in front of a Senate committee months later, he said, oh no, not according to the definition of the Secure Fence Act, nobody has control under that definition. Well, which is it? I had literally the statute sitting behind me telling you don't have operational control of the border. And you say, well, this resolution doesn't matter. Well, this resolution is another effort to try to say, look, there are consequences to the communities around this country. That's the problem. You have 50 states, thousands of communities who are left holding the bag. And then we hear things like, oh, don't worry, yeah, people admitted. Well, they're admitted by definition because they got into the country. That's absurd. There's three to 4,000 a day right now being apprehended while somewhere similar to that number, although we don't have the most recent data because it changes by the week and you have to go ask them, probably three to 4,000 coming through the one app, but it's like pulling teeth to get data out of the administration. But we know there's thousands either being shoved through the ports of entry through the one app or thousands being apprehended between the ports of entry while fentanyl continues to pour into our country. So yes, we have resolutions that are from committees that aren't directly in the jurisdiction, for example, the Homeland Security or Judiciary, because this is touching every aspect of our life. And we have things like schools that are having to deal with it. I don't know if the gentlelady has anything to add to that. Well, I thank you for um, expressing the concerns that you have from the state of Texas, but it certainly isn't just the state of Texas that's concerned. I do want to want to make, I do want to say for the record that the phrase aliens not admitted is the legal language to describe those not legally admitted to the United States. This came up as an issue um, a few minutes ago. So I think it's important that we make sure that we, when we do a resolution, that we use the appropriate language, um, whether some people think the resolution does anything or not. Uh, we're determined at least to use the proper language. And I thank the gentleman for his uh, spirited defense of doing the right thing in our country. Thank you. I thank the gentlelady. The people of Texas are past the point of being able to accept what we're getting out of the federal government. Well past the point. 